Hello everyone, in this video we are going to discuss about modeling and simulation of a DC fast charging station connected with the battery pack of an electric vehicle. This example models a DC fast charging station connected with the battery pack of an electric vehicle model. Okay, these are the contents uh, in the for designing DC fast charging station for electric vehicles. First one is introduction, Simulink model, components in DC fast charging station and EV battery pack overview and simulation result from Simscape logging. These products are used MATLAB Simulink, Simscape Electrical. Okay, here what is uh, a DC fast charging station and what is fast charging? Here what is fast charging means batteries need direct current or DC to both charge and discharge. But your local power grid operates using alternate current or AC. This means the AC must be converted into DC so that the battery can be charged which requires a converter either on board, uh, on board the vehicle or in the charger itself. To increase the speed of conversion, the subsequently charging the charging, uh, charging and converter components must be larger and heavier. DC fast charging also referred to as level 3 charging take care of uh, these problems are there. In uh, EVs that are capable of using this technology, fast chargers bypass the onboard charger and send power to the battery directly. Here DC fast charging station, the DC fast chargers convert AC power to DC within the char charging station and deliver DC power directly to the battery which is why they, they charge faster. Okay, there this is the Simulink model of uh, this DC for charging station for electric vehicle model. Here what are the main components of the example sir? First one is a grid. Here the model is the AC supply voltage uh, as the three phase constant voltage source here. The next one these are uh, DC fast charging station sub subsystem. It, uh, it contains the three uh, subsystem filter and AC measurements and front end converters and DC to DC converter with galvanic isolation. Here this, this system is responsible for model the power electronic circuits to convert the AC supply voltage from the grid to the DC voltage level that the EV battery pack requires this one. Here the third subsystem is important subsystem is EV battery pack. Here this, this um, subsystem is uh, model the battery pack as a series of battery cells. Here these are the measurement panels, the DC bus voltage, charging voltage and charging current. This, co this scope uh, will show the result called the DC bus voltage, the DC bus current and the charging voltage and charging current. Here uh, one more uh, FEC control circuit as there. Sir. Here in this sir, you can configure a rectifier uh, in, in means of average or two level or three level. Okay, here DC to DC control circuit. Finally, we'll get if I find the supply current and all things. Here, these are components in DC uh, DC fast charging station. These are this block, DC fast charging station. It contains filter and AC measurement unit and front end front end converter and DC to DC converter with galvanic isolation. Okay, here you can see this is the first one, first part of this uh, Simulink model subsystem. It has filter and AC measurements to filter the harmonics uh, in the line current and measure the three phase supply voltage and the line current by using this subsystem it is responsible for filter and AC measurements to filter the harmonics in the line current and measure the three phase supply voltage and line current by using this line current sensor and the RL filter. Here the next one is a front end converter the second subsystem of uh, the DC charging session is front end converter is a unity power factor unit uh, front end converter to control output DC voltage at 800 volt. So uh, the fast charging may be uh, increase here with the, by using this uh, sensor dynamics uh, block function block okay, next one is a three level of fidelity here the converter circuit is modeled with dc to dc converter circuit is modeled with three levels of fidelity first one is average inverter facility second one is two level inverter facility and the third one is a three level inverter fidelity here you can see you can select either uh, among the three average to average uh, inverter fidelity and uh, two level um, inverter fidelity and three level inverter fidelity. Your average inverter fidelity is shown here and then next one two level inverter fidelity along with the PWM generator and here here also three level inverter fidelity circuits and the time of simulation you can see briefly. Then uh, another subsystem is isolated DC to DC converter. Here also uh, there are main components are there for uh, um, in this isolated DC DC converter, these are uh, three parts are there again. The isolated DC DC converter supply constant charging current to the EV battery. So, that here main components of the isolated DC to DC converter is first one is inverter, second one is HF isolation transformer, third one is diode bridge rectifier. Here you can see the 
components of each subsystem. This is the first one is the inverter and second one is the uh, magnetizing uh, inductance contains isolation, HF isolation transformer here by using diode bridge rectifier. These are all under isolated DC to DC converter subsystem. Okay, and then the last and final one is the AV battery pack uh, subsystem. Here the uh, AV battery pack models the battery cells connected in series and sensors to measure the battery terminal voltage and the output current. Here these are the uh, simulation result from Simscape logging. It shows the uh, FEC output, battery terminal voltage, FEC DC output and battery charging current and grid F by phase voltage and current and battery state of charge. This plot shows the DC bus voltage and current, battery terminal voltage and charging current. Here uh, filled in converter, it is FEC nothing but filled in converter output DC voltage and uh, filled in one converter DC output current, voltage and current. Here battery charging and battery, uh, battery voltage, by battery charging current and battery voltage along with battery state of charge we are seeing. Now let us see the simulation. Uh, now we can see uh, the, the uh, DC fast ch charger for electric vehicle. Here itself you can see the uh, result. Now we are uh, seeing the result. You can run this model. Okay, here we see that uh, after running the simulation, DC bus voltage is 800 and charging voltage is 9, 909 and charging current is 99.6087. Here you can see the grid. Here the voltage source, the uh, AC3 level voltage source is there. there. Here uh, this voltage parameter, voltage source parameters is responsible for uh, the AC3 space voltage source maintains ideal fundamental sinusoidal voltage or fundamental plus harmonic voltage across the output terminals. Here this is the DC fast charging station, filter and AC measurement subsystem having on the phase voltage sensor and line current sensor along with this one PLL. Okay, now let us see the next subsystem of a uh, front end converter. In this front end converter we are seeing uh, this DC bus uh, current sensor and sensor dynamic and all. And this is a DC to DC converter with three stage inverter, um, HF isolation transformer and bridge di uh, diode bridge rectifier. Now let us see the uh, inverter circuit here itself a gate drive and uh, four quadrant chopper is involved for this uh, uh, inverter uh, inverter subsystem. Similarly, for uh, HF isolation transformer, you can see the magnetizing inductance along with this um, isolation transformer. The next one is a diode bridge rectifier block. It is made up of made made with this uh, diode four set of diodes, diode bridge rectifier circuit. Now let us see the uh, FEC control circuits. Here uh, some modulation signal and controllers are there. Here uh, this is your um, uh, scope you are seeing now. Let us see the simulation. Now it shows uh, FEC output here you can see parallel you can see uh, along with the scope measurement panel also there here uh, DC bus voltage set to uh, 800 the charging voltage now we can able to Finally, it gives a charging current values of 102, 9461. Okay, now uh, let us see with uh, the plot uh, simulation result block. compiling okay. 
in this manner you can see the uh, simulation result from simscap logging the plot below shows the dc bus voltage and current uh, battery terminal voltage and charging current i hope uh, all are uh, can understand this dc fast charging station for an electric vehicle along with this uh, battery pickup and electric vehicle thanks for watching thank you